Hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing The Legend of Dragoon and recording it all on VHS. Last time I had a hissy fit. There's not really any other way to put it, but boy howdy, this game did sure as heck tick me off real hard. Uh, unfortunately, that was, you know, uh, looks at wrist where I haven't worn a watch in years. Um, <laughs> this is... Yes, I did actually just look at my wrist where there's nothing. Just, just, anyway, it was like five minutes ago, so I'm still pretty grumpy, but you know what? I'm trying, I'm trying to just enjoy my ghost ship adventure game. Please let me enjoy my ghost ship adventure. Anyway, where's the little purple ghost that's doing a spook? Let's get in line. Purple ghost. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm trying, trying to diesel. I'm trying so hard, I swear. See, the worst part is, now that she's gone and dragooned herself, I actually don't get... <laughs> Magician Bogey. I... There is nothing that is not upsetting about that the Dragoon attack ring meter active time combat thing. Oh boy, I really hope that they never allow for the counterattack to occur in... Rose's new combo edition thing during the short hit. Okay, what the heck is that now? Great. Perfect. Fine. I have...
I have nothing but disdain for this game at this point. And now she's going to be asleep, and then Dart is bewitched or something, so he's going to attack her for tremendous amounts of health, and then she's just dead. Okay, and then we get to watch Dart slowly attack himself to death. This is everything that I've been ranting about the entirety of this game. Great. Cool. You're back. A dinosaur story. Okay, that time the ring let me, like, go all the way around when I attacked late. It didn't just stop immediately at the buzzer. Way to go, Dart. You did it. It ran away. <sighs> okay, so this is, again, this is everything that I've been complaining about and whining and, and, and ranting forever. Apparently this works on everybody, everybody. Fascinating. Oh boy, 50 gold. Sec, let me get some pen and paper. The three-digit combination of the treasure chest is the th is three of those numbers, and we can just view it again. Two, four, five, six. Is it trying to say something? We cornered it. Forgive me for not being excited to fight three of these things. What can, you know, enchant or bewitch or otherwise, whatever the status effect is actually called. The one what makes my party attack itself.
I did it. Okay, I finally figured out the timing on that. The unfortunate truth is that it just doesn't do like any damage because it's so much lower level than everything else. It's pretty ridiculous how little damage it does. Counterattack on that shows up so late compared to everything else. Like all, all the other, all the other ones, it's like the counterattack shield and the color change have shown up like way earlier. It feels like, whereas with her attacks, because her attacks always come in with a faster attack square, it's like it's still a blue square and then the counterattack thing comes up and it's just like I've already hit the button at that point and just etc etc I don't know like I, again I really I'm, I'm honestly I'm trying to enjoy this game and it just it just keeps just oh boy oh boy oh boy I do I do think that there's there's some like very deep flaws in the core of nope this combat system and it's like cool they tried there there's some interesting ideas that don't work in my opinion like they they just are not meshing and like i th i think so much of it so so much of it good uh So very much of everything is that's the problem <sighs> is just recovery. Like, uh, what am I supposed to do here? Because like, I can spend a turn. I can. I have. <sighs> I don't know. I, I like. <sighs> Let's approach this as like a, a puzzle. I have one character who is active in combat currently. One is asleep, 
One is Bewitched. I assume that's what that status is. Um, I could spend a turn with my one active character using a recovery item on one of my other two characters. However, the enemy could just attack and put put them back into the state that they're in. Could just flat out say, you know what? Nope. Here, here you go. You're, you're just... Like, that's the... That is the problem with having only a single character to react at any given time, is that... There's not really any way to prevent a character, like an enemy from doing the same thing again, and just like... I could spend one of my few, and therefore honestly kind of precious... Recovery items... On... One of my characters... But they might just get hit immediately again with the same status effect, and then it's all for naught. That's that's basic. That is the basic problem at play. Of course, she. Sean is strong against Rose, of course. Are you dead or just asleep? You're dead. Oh wait, that wasn't a level up. That was a D level up. You can you can go to Dragoon level four now. I think because your your bar is not flashing. But you only have sixty hip, um, sixty magic points, so I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Oh, anyway, like... <sighs> recovery items are, are, like, any sort of recovery is just, like, either it is extremely tedious or it is extremely precious. And kind of few and far between, in all honesty. The inventory limit on healing items is really kind of the biggest problem in the entirety of the system is just like, I can't, I cannot be, oh good, darts up and dart hits really stupidly hard. And also, Rose is Dragoonified right now, so therefore she can't even react to Dart's status effects. She can't do anything because he is like she is a Dragoon and therefore can't use items right now. Therefore, I just have to deal with Dart being bewitched or whatever this status effect actually is. And like... <sighs> wow, that was a whole 53... And there goes most of the hit points I just recovered. Good thing Dart is about to get a turn and is going to, you know, do things like this is this is why it's important. Think about Final Fantasy again. I, I've come down with a terrible case of opinions, and of course I'm going to lean back into my wheelhouse and talk about Final Fantasy because that's what I do. Um Hooray! I did it. This is a what, like Final Fantasy has so many things that you can do when you get status effects. Like at least in the middle, I have not kept up with with a lot of Final Fantasies after six. Basically, like I played six, I played seven. Thank goodness, Dart is currently okay. Let's have him turn into a Dragoon, because that seems to make him immune to status effects, and then he can finish the fight, and Rose can sit there and just 
defend over and over again to get some hit points back, and also while she's defending, she's immune to status effects. Hooray for that side of that system. But like, in Final Fantasy, you have other things that you can do to deal with certain status effects, such as, like, okay, fine. The darkness or blind or whatever it's called status effect. Great. Of course, she doesn't get a turn to defend. And now she's going to stab Dart in the side. Now Dart's a Dragoon and couldn't do anything even, even if he wanted to. Like, the the darkness or blind, whatever, you just can't. Hooray, she cured herself. By, you know, knocking herself out. Blind and Darkness have specific like recovery items, and but it's like it's it's not it's not that big of a deal. It's just like oh no, I have a less of a chance to hit with melee attacks, which means that I can use magic abilities instead. Hello, ghost. I have a favor to ask of you. Please come to the captain's cabin. gold oh boy I'm going to finish this thought at some point I swear but like okay miss chance increased that's not that big of a deal boo <laughs> that is something that you can easily work around and like you have other abilities that you can use and you only have access to those abilities unless it's like specifically a character that can't do that sort of thing um or you just haven't gotten to the point in the game where you can use magic or you know maybe you're playing the version 1.0 or the the v1.0 of the game that you know darkness just doesn't do anything anyway oh but it's one of those things of like generally there's a workaround of like okay i can't like i have a mischance now so uh cool, that means that I should use magic instead, if I can. Um, or use, uh, what if uh, I forget what the items are actually called. What heal. Darkness slash blindness. And you, like, get into, we'll get into other things in a second. I, I have I am I'm spiraling through a pile of thoughts and just me being grumpy. I hate this attack. Um, poison can be a problem. You can heal it. Like you have your options of you can use a curative item. You can rest, like you can use curative items to just like heal through the poison, or you can do things. You can just heal through the poison, or you can heal the poison. Is what it comes down to. But then you get to like things like sleep and confusion, where you can snap somebody out of it by hitting them. And just like, that's a really easy thing to do, is just like have a character take a quick turn and bonk somebody who is confused or asleep to wake them back up and bring them back to, you know, 
working order. Like... <laughs> That's important. <laughs> like those those like side maneuvers are an important part of the combat system of like, hey, here's here's all of these status effects that, that could happen and like all of the various healing items and healing stuffs for them. But also sometimes you can just do a thing of like attack your bud that is confused to get them out of to snap them out of it, or you know, hit somebody who is asleep to wake them back up. And like this has a counterplay in the, the system of just like, cool, you've confused an enemy or put an enemy to sleep. If you hit them, that's going to knock them out of it. So there there is like, there's an interesting play in the, the status effects there. Whereas in this, the status effects are just like, they are just kind of <sighs> brutal is what the word is. It's like, cool, darts asleep. How do we get him out of a sleep? We can use a body purifier. That's it. That is, that's the entire list it seems, is we can use this one healing item. This is gonna look weird, but here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna throw this on Shauna so that she gets hit, so that she gets her mana recovered. Well, hey. Great. Like, that is ultimately, I, I think, the, the biggest problem with this. I think that's ultimately, like, the biggest problem with the status effects in this game. It's just, like, there's nothing you can do about it. Aside from... That's not what I want. We want this one. There's nothing that you can do about... Status effects, aside from use a curative item to get rid of them. That is the only course of action which takes somebody's entire turn and that is kind of a problem and it's especially a problem when the enemy can just do it again like that's that is a really bad situation to be in of just like i would like to use one of my few items that i can carry and again like so much of the problem that i have with this game comes down to its recovery systems I missed, apparently. Um, no, Rose can go up to level 4. Okay, it was a Dragoon level up. And that does say 80 now. Did that not say... I swear that said 60 before. But that's it. Like, that's that's the root of my problems with the game is the recovery systems. Like, the defend to recover is actually, like, a pretty... Jeez. Hey, remember that thing I said about don't respawn directly underneath the player? Um... So I'm going to go with five as the har-har odd number out because it's odd, whereas the other three numbers are even. But apparently I'm wrong. Nine more times. All right, well, we have 
Let me just list all the variations here. So we tried two, four, six, so that's out. Uh, we can do two, four, five. We can do do, 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 two. Oh, goodness. There's the question of whether or not this is. I'm gonna see if I can go back to my ship and save, because, uh... Hey, bud. We have to fix the engine room to start the ship, and the only thing we can do now is wait. Oh, okay, so... Ugh, so many numbers that could be just not used. I don't have a save for the start of this episode. That sucks. <laughs> it's just that. It's just that. Don't... Don't interact with it. Okay, so... Here's the deal. We have... Four numbers. It's a three-part combination. We don't know if the order matters or not. So, ultimately, I'm just going to start listing a pile of numbers because that's just kind of how this is going to work. We've got two, four, five. We've got two, four, six. We've got two, five, four. We've got two, five, six. We've got two, six, four, and two, six, five. And that already is six possible options. And that is it for the startings with two. So, to do, we now have another six options when we come to starting with four. So we've got four, two, five. We've got four, two, six. Four, uh, five, two, four, five, six. And four six two and four six five. This is twenty four. Is the the answer is there are twenty four different options for this? Let me punch the mic. It's going to move my mic arm apparently. So that's too many to try, and brute force it. It does feel like five is the odd man out har har again because it is the literally odd number but i feel like maybe there's a clue i missed somewhere but maybe not maybe this is just a this era of jrpg getting into like the weird missable stuff territory <sighs> Okay, so... I don't, I don't know where we could even find clues about things. Still locked. Just face tank it. Hello, Skeleton.
I've kind of lost my place in all of my ranting. I'm, again, I'm trying to enjoy this game. And sometimes I even am. <laughs> I was super, super on board for this ghost time adventure. And then it immediately just kind of hit every possible pet peeve that it could. Um, and that kind of sucks in all honesty. Rose needs to recover. Dirt can also recover. Shauna doesn't need to recover right now, but... Da, 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 da. Let's just have a skeleton. What if you just don't for a bit? Almost full. And like, I think kind of the worst part of all of this, like the very worst part is that they have been giving me repeatable, like reusable items as like an interesting vector of abilities and things to do. There's like an actual interesting trade off there in combat of like, do if I use this ability, like if I use this item, uh, then it's going to, <sighs> if I use this item, then it's going to make it where it's like I don't attack and therefore I don't get Dragoon points and etc etc and like there's there's like some interesting factors there um that is not the right button Again, there's an interesting trade-off of, like, using items versus not. Like, that has been kind of a thing with Shauna, is that she is, like, she's meant to be the one using items because she doesn't have addi additions, and therefore, like, it's, it's, she doesn't deal as much damage consistently. But she's also the healer, and she can only heal when she's in Dragoon mode. That means she needs to have Dragoon points, and to get Dragoon points, she has to be attacking. Or using the items that I don't think I can purchase anywhere, uh... But even if I could, they probably would be kind of expensive. And also, the, aforem dang it, the aforementioned uh, issues of inventory space. Like, so much of everything comes down to that crummy little tiny, 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 tiny inventory space. And, like, that... I would really love to hear the discussions that went into determining the inventory space. Like... 32 is not an accidental number. They didn't just land on that. It's, it is a power of two number. It's, it's like, it's optimized is what it seems to be. So it's like, there seems to be some amount of optimization with that inventory uh, value being 32. But why is it 32 and not 64? Like, why, why do they give me 256 a, a, a gear inventory space of 256 spaces. That's kind of ridiculous. And, like, the answer is, you know, the obvious answer is that, okay, well, there's, like, nine characters, and each of the nine characters can... needs, you know, has, like, what is it, five inventory? Is it five or four inventory slots? Either way, that is already, like, 36... That is either 36 or 40... In, that's not right. Anyway, <laughs> Math. Don't do math on stream. Don't do math while recording. It's a bad plan. I did it. <laughs> okay, as soon as combat is over, I want to run past the spawning ghosts. Boy, howdy. The VCR is making some weird noises on this. This tape... <laughs> makes odd noises. Uh... <laughs> wow, a portrait of a beautiful woman. It seems like the queen of some country. It closed by itself. 
Please, help me. Huh? He killed the crew. Nanny. Knights. Me. And the newborn. Just... <laughs> the, the line cutoffs are... Ooh. Him. The black monster. The black monster? What, what? This was done by the black monster too? We couldn't protect the princess. So we couldn't finish dying. Please. Destroy the fear. Please send the souls of the knights to rest. Ugh. It's impossible to fully die. He kills people for no reason. I guess the... I All that you, you need to do, Ghost, is talk. Talking gets you killed. Um, I'm never going to let that line go, am I? <laughs> <laughs> it's very much the Jill sandwich sort of thing. Acquired a handful of money. Acquired a slightly larger handful of money. Acquired a key to the phantom ship. Is a lady. Portrait reminds me of somebody. Ha! <laughs> I made it. Oh, okay, so here's the deal. Uh, I'm running out of time on this tape. Um, we won't give you Princess Luvia. Rose. We'll protect her even if it costs our lives. After counting 180 years when the moon that never sets glows red, the moon child defends upon, descends upon the earth and fills the world with holy bliss. However, that was actually brought... However, what was actually brought was the child of destruction, the black monster. We are witnessing a tragedy from the past. Oh, it's awful. Why did it have to do this? Ah, oh, the black monster! How much does he have to kill before he satisfies himself? Stop it. Sorry. What was I thinking? Let's move on. You want to know, don't you? Okay, so I do feel like I'm going to run into an issue here where, like, this chest is... Like, I'm only going to have so many chances at this chest, and, uh... And quite frankly, I want whatever's inside of it, because it's there. Also, my tape is making all sorts of funny noises, and, um, that's fun, so, uh, hey. We're not calling it quite yet. We're going to go uh, give this chest a few more, just a, just a couple tries. I'm going to leave at least a try from, for, for doing it right. If I need to, I will look up this number because, uh, all right. So two, four, six was no good. more times.
All right, so that rules out all the combinations that I wanted to try that were, you know, easy enough to do so. Um, so now we're going to call it a day because I'm I'm not going to bother saving after attempting several more times. Because, uh, boy howdy, it turns out there are 24 options. If we only get 10 shots, then that leaves us with 14 options that may or may not be used. So either I will brute force this on my own time, or I will just look up what the number is because, I mean... I feel like either there's a hint I missed or something. And maybe if I look it up, then I will see just like a quick discussion of like, here's where your other hint was supposed to be. Um... I got nothing. Like, <laughs> I was so on board for Ghost Ship Fun Time Adventure, and then this game immediately reminded me with every possible system that I've been struggling with of and, and complaining about, just like immediately. It was just like, hey, here's the worst aspects of all of these systems. Go! All at once. Just, oh boy. Oh boy. And again, like... <sighs> We'll go through the usual I'm ranting at the end of the episode things. If you want to bail here, thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. Have yourself a lovely evening. Now then, back to my usual ranting for way too many minutes at the end of an episode about the same four things. Because it's always the same four things with this game. Because that's the stuff that I'm struggling with. And of course... All of this is just like, hey, this is why I like JRPGs, because they have to wear their systems on their sleeves and you have to, and that just makes it really easy to analyze them and overanalyze them and talk about them. Blah, blah, blah. The short version of everything is just like, it's all about the health recovery problems of, of like every, every problem I have with this game, I think, like not every problem, but like pretty much the core of it, the core problem I have with this game is that number up in the top right. It's that 32. And it's, I really want to know how they landed on 32 as the used item count they wanted and they desired for the design of this game. Like that is one of those things that feels like it needed a very specific level of balance. And they landed, there is no way that is just an accidental number or just something that they picked. Like that is, that is an important number. And they would have had to have conversations and there was probably playtesting. That number probably changed in development. I'm really curious why they landed on such a low number. 32 is minuscule for like the active items that you can carry and use. And again, they've been throwing these repeatable items at me down here of the speed up and pandemonium magic sigil stone and whatnot like those are all really interesting items and again it gives me like a variation of things to do in combat and that makes them good like good items in that they are interesting to use and worth keeping around however they also then take up inventory space forever and that is my magic sigil stone, the pandemonium, and speed up. That's three of 32. That is roughly 10% of my inventory is taken up by these things. That's a lot. That is that is kind of a significant portion of my inventory space taken up by these reusable, interesting items. But then we get into, again, that pulls us into like the recovery aspect of everything very quickly where... I can only carry so many recovery items at any given time, and the absolute maximum of that is 32, but then we take away three spots for the repeatable items, and then we take out whatever spots that happen for, you know, the, the attack items that they keep giving me. And then we also take out, like, this. You, you then subdivide that into status effects, but the status effects are split out into two different types of body and mind. And then you have the revivals, and then you have MP recovery, and then you have HP recovery, and you end up with just, like, that's a lot of different variables to take into consideration of the 32 item count. If you s split things out and like I kind of have where it's like it's six and six and six and three. Like I've got three angel prayers. I've got I generally will try to keep six actual HP healing items on my team. We have currently not six, but only five MP recovery items. And quite frankly, these may not be all that useful, but maybe they will be. I don't know. It's one of those things of just like, I 
very rarely have had the chance to use MP recovery items because MP is such a precious resource and can only be used while dragooned, which means that we have to attack first to build up our dragoon meter so that we can turn into a dragoon to use our magic anyway, so that magic becomes a very difficult to use resource and much, much, much more precious for that reason. And therefore, I don't end up using these recovery items because I don't use magic as much as I would like because of all of the aforementioned reasons that I just went through in a ramble. Oh, the body and mind purifiers. Like, again, these things should be extremely useful in combat. However, the biggest problem with everything is just like, okay, cool, I need to recover a party member. That means taking one of my characters out of combat for a turn to do that. Like, I have one character that's already out of combat for whatever ailment they have. I then have a second character that is two-thirds of my team so far out of combat in order to recover the first character. The third character can do whatever they want. However, the enemy can also do whatever they want. And odds are the enemy is going to get a turn before character one or character two gets another turn. And that <laughs> means that the enemy has a whatever percent chance of just doing the status effect again. And the status effects in this game have been devastating. Just flat out of like, cool, Bewitched, great. Bewitched, hecking dart deals like 350 damage an attack. That's a bad time. That is just a really bad time. Sleepy dart. Well, that's my main attacker out. Just, just him gone, not doing damage. And again, we just covered, he does a lot of damage. So that's a problem. Oh, wait, Shauna? She she doesn't hit that hard, but she's bewitched? Oh, she targeted Rose, who is weak to Shauna. <laughs> oh, we get the elemental type Pokemon matchup <laughs> thing that happens, and that makes it to where my party is strong against itself, so bewitched is super bad for me. Sure, okay, so this is this is the thing that I said I was going to get into, and I'm running out of time to ramble out about this because tape is about out of time. This thing over here, we could, in fact, it is five. Okay. So we've, we've got, we've got a bunch of armor things and we've got a weapon and all of the armor thus far had been drastically uninteresting. Like that, that is a really missed opportunity here. Like we have a weapon. Great. Weapon is attack power and maybe some other stuff. Like as it turns out, the bemusing arrow has a chance to do a confuse. Cool. Confuse. Doesn't seem to do nearly as much when it's affecting an enemy, but also whatever. Anyway, we are thus far. Armor has been drastically uninteresting. It has largely just been like those salads, salads, whatever. They are the most interesting piece of armor that we have seen, I do believe, and that it raises the rate of physical attacks. Congratulations, you are 10% less likely to hate, to miss. That's it. That's all we got. The, that, that's the extent of interesting armor that we have found so far. And then everything else falls onto your accessory slot, which you only have one of, and that... Ooh, boy! This is, this is, let me talk about Final Fantasy VI again, because it's my favorite video game. The whole thing about Final Fantasy VI, where you have two relic slots, is like, it's really, really important, like, that they gave you two relic slots. That was actually, like, a really great bit of inventory management design, in that you have these two slots for you to put on interesting effects so you have late late game armor actually has interesting effects and maybe that will happen here where later like in the late game will actually have armor that is of interest and like we won't just be sitting here with well maybe i could put on a sally salad or whatever I actually know how that is correctly pronounced but this is the most interesting piece of gear that i have that is not an accessory and the accessories are actually really fascinating like this is this is the thing about like this you run into this with dark souls rings as well like that's that's the other thing to pull from like dark soul demon souls and dark souls you got like one ring slot 
And then in Dark Souls 2, they bust that open to four ring slots. And like, we can also talk about like previous things in the whole From Software catalog, where in back in Kingsfield, you have, I don't remember if you have one or two ring slots, but then you have Eternal Ring, where you have 10 ring slots. And that game is, uh, does, it is a delightful disaster. Um, at some point I was looking to play it on the channel and like I loaded up a save and was immediately exhausted. So I don't know if I'll ever get around to that one, but at some point we'll probably go back for King's Hill too. But like, this is, I'm, I'm super duper duper mega rambling at this point on, on this event inventory thing. But like the point is there's a reason why we went from two rings to four rings from Dark Souls 1 to Dark Souls 2 and why they kept four rings. They did, right? Ooh boy, I'm trying to remember. I've, I'm fairly certain that they did keep the four rings for Dark Souls 3. And then also in Elden Ring, your talismans, which are essentially rings, like that is, that is, there's a reason why that is like a primary thing that they award you as you progress through the game because it's a really great reward. That's where all the cool, interesting stuff is, is in the rings and talismans. And, and again, we're seeing that here of just like accessories have long in RPGs been, this is the point, like this is the inventory of interest. This is where you get your weird effects. This is where you get your, your fun stuff. That's your toys. And only having one really sucks, especially when like, oh boy, I can, I can protect against one, one type of, 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 of status effect. That's it. Just one, just a whole singular status effect that I can protect against. And by doing that, I have to throw out like all the other interesting fun things and just have like my, my, no, just, just my, my lose a turn card for the enemy. Oh, that, like that's, that's it. That's all I got. It, 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 that it really sucks that you only get one accessory slot. If you got two, that would change this game so much. And it would actually like, it would, it would simply be more fun. Would it be more balanced? I don't know. Would like, it's just the thing of like, that's where all the fun is in the inventory system. Everything else is just like numbers, numbers go up. We, whereas, and again, maybe this will change later and we'll actually get some interesting weapons or armor or anything that is of actual interest and not just boring. <sighs> but like all the fun in the inventory, it's in this stuff. It's just in the accessories. That's where things get interesting and fun. The rest of it is just like numbers go up. We, that, that, that's it. There's, there's, there's nothing about like, there's nothing interesting so far about like the, why we have five, like we don't need five inventory slots right now, honestly, so far, like, again, maybe this will change later and we're just too early to see like actual interesting pieces of gear. Um, but yeah, that, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. I'm going to wrap before I run out of tape because otherwise it makes, it makes trying to align footage way too difficult. So that's, that's the ramble. <laughs> that is the current rant of like the next thing. <laughs> what Brace rants about Dragon, the Legend of Dragoon. I almost call this Dragon Souls. Anyway, if you have stuck around for the rant, I'm sorry. <laughs> but also, hopefully you found something interesting in all of my ramblings. Again, this is why I like RPGs is that they wear their systems on their sleeves and that that makes it fascinating to analyze them. And that that is like part of the goop that crunch and stuff that I like is examining like what makes these systems work and tick or not work. And again, I keep coming down on the side of I don't think Legend of Dragoon systems work. I think that it is it is a lot of interesting ideas that are just not quite meshing in a way that you would want them to. And a lot of it stems from just so much of it stems from, from small things and just like things that are really easy to overlook in terms of like RPG design stuff of what's your inventory size? What, what do you do with your gear? Like this is I'm just going to name drop Final Fantasy seven. Like there's a, there's 
a thing of like they only like they cut their inventory system down to only three pieces of, of gear per person of one accessory one armor piece and one weapon and there's a reason they did that and it it as far as i recall again it's been 25 years at least i think uh but, but there's a reason it works and there's reasons why i don't think legend of dragoon stuff is working so far again maybe it will change maybe we'll get interesting items anyway thank you very 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 much for watching i've been bryce this has been vhs play have yourself a lovely evening